Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to another Sunday, which means it is time for another noise. Watch his black lagoon. Oh boy. Uh, I am. I got my COVID shot today, and I feel like poop. But here we go. Uh, so in the last episode of Black Lagoon, well, we finished the first arc. Uh, Rock is now officially part of the squad. Um, and I, yeah, you know, I guess now begins the true pirate adventure. So, oh boy, I can't wait for that one. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, we're starting a brand new arc. I don't really got anything to launch into it. So let's go in three, two, one, and go. All right, back with the English. Uh, but I, I have been look, kind of looking forward to this show, um, each week. I think, I think this show is going to be like, like, you know, like Zombieland Saga, Spider, and this. Like, if I have a day where, like, I can't make a deadline, I'm going to ensure that, like, those three things happen each week until they are done. Like, those are going to be the ones that's like, ah, shit, I can't do something this day because I'm dying of the freaking vaccine. <laughs> or, you know, all the assorted other medical problems I have. <laughs> Uh, like, I'm gonna ensure that those three come out, even if, like, I'm here like that guy from Spongebob, you know? I was, oh, lucky you, I was born with glass bones and paper skin. Every day I break my arms and legs, and I scream until my heart attacks put me to sleep. <laughs> uh, damn, how are you, do how are you guys doing? Hope you guys are having a better week. Uh, man, you know this is from the 2000s. This, this was written in the 90s and made in the early 2000s because our protagonist is visibly smoking a cigarette. Not allowed that anymore. Smoking's bad. Damn, Buddha, like... I mean, hey, even, even, you know, good old-fashioned Siddhartha, me, Siddhartha needed to, like, relax every now and again. You mean, tell me that man never hit the casinos? Oh, boy, symbolism. And having a big, sweaty, Southeast Asian man with one tooth giving you a friggin' sh shave. What a wonderful bird. Truly, the calls of the native wildlife are, are truly something to be, be, be heard. Oh, hey, they actually upgraded to an apartment. Nice. Now we no longer have to worry about the siege boat CG. And also, I guess they don't have to worry about, you know, budget of going hold to all these different ports. Pay for Rwanda port once and then just, you know, recycle footage. Damn, my man Balsam bought a full-ass bag of real shitty, unidentified mystery fruit. Oh, boy, never trust street grandmas. You're gonna have to kill a man or two, Rock.
Man, you know they're in a poor area because they're still payphones. I know it's the 90s. Hundred and twenty grand? Jesus, that's quite a bit. <laughs> nice disco suit, motherfucker. Jesus. Ironically, it looks like Mr. Chin has a really weak chin. What the f my dude. <coughs> oh, okay. I thought he was talking about Revy for a second there. I forgot. I forgot about. I forgot about Miss Little Miss Bernie Face. God, you know it's Japanese media when it's nothing but shit talking the Russians. Jesus. Like, the Russians really went out of their way to make sure that nobody in Asia likes them, didn't they? They tried to invade Manchuria. You know, pissed off all of the, all of the, all of the Chinese. Kept trying. Did routine conflicts against Mao's regime during the Cold War. And then during World War II, they threatened to invade Japan and butcher the Emperor on live television. Okay, not live television, but you get what I mean, right? You get what I mean? Butcher, th butcher the Emperor in front of everybody. I'm using it as a metaphor. Hey, but at least, at least our boy here has, has good business sense, you know? Or, like, or at least the sense not to betray the Russians, I guess. <laughs> My man's not interested in having to get his dick replaced. The truest capitalists, these men. God, that f fucking car. Oh my god. Unless you're referring to cocaine, probably. Really hope they keep that boat somewhere where it's not gonna get robbed if they got all this really, really expensive computer equipment on it. Who boy. Man, this lighting kind of sucks. I'm not gonna do this again unless I forget. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's gonna turn. I don't know. I'll have to see how it looks when I'm done. God, referring to people as sailor, all I can think of is Mr. Krabs. My man hates to, hate to jerk off. Leave him alone. <laughs> For a second, I thought they took off with it while he was still outside. He was just, like, hanging on. No. Has, yeah, has he been wearing the same suit like this whole time? Or has he just been buying more, the identical fucking suit?
My man, a girl buys you a shirt, you wear that fucking shirt. No ifs, ands, or buts. You wear it at least once in her presence after she got it for you. So I guess Mr. Weak Chin is our villain for the for the day, huh? How dare you have a little bit of integrity and not betray your current employer? You son of a bitch. Seriously, you'd think that'd be something these guys would respect a little bit, because if they betray their previous employer that easily, what makes them think they're not gonna betray you? Jesus Christ, Rock, you never joined the Boy Scouts? Jesus. I bet it was data entry or something. Yeah, that's more or less true of any office job, I would say, yeah. <laughs> God, my, auto my head auto-filled his response as, If I said yes, will you choke me? With your thighs. Ah, <laughs> uh, my 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 brain does dumb shit when I'm when I'm feeling this shitty. Holy crap! Okay, but why do you dress like Laura Croft's like slutty slutty best friend? Oh, so that was the stock Glock noise from Half-Life 1, so okay, cool. CG- Hey mate, why your C goes bad CG? Damn, if only we still had that Type 98 that the rock threw into the ocean. Damn shame. That, or they're being sent to murder the shit out of you. Hit the gas, motherfucker, Jesus! Why would you not just have your earpiece in? Like... Like, maybe it's just because, like, I, I wear these fucking, like, basically all fucking day but it's like it's not that uncomfortable to have a wireless earpiece in especially if you're on a boat where at any moment this shit could fucking happen Holy shit, they just got fucking M2s? What the hell? Jesus. I 
Hey, you got an AK? All right, cool. It's like, why mount... Okay, I've, I never understood this. Like, why mount two M2s, like, in a turret position like that? Like, the thing spits from a belt-fed, like, thing. And it's not that accurate in the first place. So not only do you need to reload two guns, but they're also... I mean, I guess you don't have to reload, like, if you've got, like, if you just got, in, like, a magazine down, like, in the turret thing. But it seems like you'd have a little bit of an accuracy issue. You know, like... Because they're not shooting where they're aiming, they're shooting slightly to the left and right. So if they've got a full broadside, then yes, that's fine. But if they're shooting up their tailpipe... There's a good chance they might just miss with, like, half their fucking bullets. I've never understood that, because real PT boats did it, too. I don't know. Maybe it's just because they're pirates and it's supposed to be like, oh, they're just using more bullets because they're not trained, so they're not super accurate, so whatever, right? But, still... Ah, she's activated her Sony Walkman. All rights reserved. <laughs> Truly, shit's about to get real. It's all fun and games, so the protagonist activates their Sony Walkman. What the fuck at that range? The grenade wouldn't even have time to fucking trigger or not trigger. What's the word? Prime? Is that what it is? I don't know. Oh, so that's not a China Lake, is it? I mm, like I'm not. I don't know. I I don't recognize what her what her fucking machine pistol is. At first thought I thought it was a Uzi, but it's. Got a fucking reciprocating slide. Is it just made up for the show? It might just be. Which is weird, because most of the guns they've used so far are identifiable. Which is rare for anime, honestly, because for the most part... You know, the Japanese aren't that good at guns! I think the China Lake... I don't know. <laughs> it's a, still a cool design, though. It's a real-world design. I like it. God damn it, that line just makes me think of the fucking Omni-Man green text. I don't know who molested her or how, Mark, but your mom's got some fucked up juju in her head. And I don't know if I'm strong enough to fuck it out. <laughs> like, that's all I can, that's all that line makes me think, oh god, maybe I'm broken. Ah. Uh. Oh, damn, those go all the way down, huh? Holy sh oh, boy. In Soviet Union, we have sink. <laughs> uh, you know, no, I'm not gonna say it, because that, no, it's not, one, it's not funny, and two, it's half-baked. I'm not gonna say it. Something about mileage. I'll just leave it there.
If you can autofill the joke, hey, go for it. Make it funny. And... So they didn't even get paid for that, huh? That's a shame. <laughs> hey, little girl, is your daddy home? Unfortunate. Damn, classic leaving a, leaving a, leaving a big ol' uh, sparking battery in a big pile of gasoline. Classic, classic accidental death. Damn shame. Excellent police work, Johnson. Now sprinkle some crack on him and let's get out of here. Oh wait, it was C4. What, is he gonna take them out for beers? Like... <laughs> hey! Good boy! Wear the shirt, Rock, you son of a bitch! I love these guys. I love these guys a lot. I sure hope none of them fucking die. I sure hope that's not a thing that fucking happens anytime soon. Oh, but, but, like, the way that the ending goes, like, where it's all, like, morose and shit, and just, it's just Revy slowly stripping out of her clothes and firearms, makes me wonder that you know, if something bad's gonna fucking happen. Holy shit. I don't know. But apparently, I mean, I guess nobody knows, because apparently Black Lagoon is still ongoing. And according to y'all, it only recently got enough content to get a season two. Despite the fact that it's been in print since 1996. Bear in mind, it... Or is it 1991? I don't know. God, my dyscalculia is bad tonight. It's like the tenth time I fucked up numbers like that. I don't know. I don't know. Can't lift my arm. Feel like shit, but I got to watch a cool anime for like 20 minutes. So I feel good about my good about myself. Revy needs to tie her fucking shoelaces. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. Was that a submarine? Are they about to fucking fight a submarine? Okay then. Oh boy, alright, um, okay, so I guess, like, I know, I, okay, I'm about to start with, like, a negative, do not jump down my throat for this, because this fucking ha every time I watch a show that everyone fucking loves and I bring up a negative, it always turns oh yeah, it's always focusing on negatives, despite the fact when I spend, like, five minutes talking about a negative, and then, like, 20 talk about how much I fucking love a show like god fucking I have to go through so many of those dog shit comments from fucking Ugh. No I'm getting into it. Okay, so um one complaint I do have about this show is that For the most part, it's Honestly really really good at at representing like real-life firearms, right and I'm not admit I don't know every firearm on the planet, but I know a good deal 
<laughs> I know a decent chunk. Um, like sometimes I'll get the numbers wrong, but once again, I I have a disability. Thank, thank you for rubbing it in. Um, but I'll get like the majority of the name right, unless you know it has a number in it. Um, and and this show is usually pretty good about that, but this episode, like. Her machine pistol was really fucking weird. It looked like... It, it looked like a fucking... Um, oh, shit. What's that fucking automatic 9 mil? Oh. It looked, it, looked like a, it looked like a CZ had sex with an Uzi. And... And that's weird. I don't know what the fuck that is. I hope it's a real gun, but it's just like a really like obtuse one that I'm not familiar with. Um, because that'd be that that because that's pretty cool. I always like learning about like new shit that I just didn't know ha- existed because it had like a limited run or it's banned in the states or you know this show came out in the '90s so it was some bullshit made up to get around the fucking assault weapons ban. Because there are a lot of guns that only exist because of that, and now that the assault weapons ban is being repealed and fucking. So many states are ruling it unconstitutional in the first place that they're no longer really being made because <laughs> they can go back to the guns that actually were good be- that but got banned. Like, God bless the Supreme Court and fuck California. There you go. Um, so I don't know. I'm hoping it's a real gun, but if it's not, that's kind of eh. Um, and some of the mecha- and some stuff mechanically just is kind of weird. Like, I don't know if it's a coloring er error, but, um, I think, so, like, when, in the, in the shot where we had, like, the guys on the boat and they're, like, brandishing their guns, um, like, you got the one guy with the AK, and I'm I'm trying to find it, I'm trying to find the shot, but it went by really quickly, so I might not be able to find it just scrubbing through. Okay, found it. So, there's one guy with an AK, um, the, the... I'm fairly certain the gas block is, like, the size of a soda can, which is really fucking weird. I understand, like, you know, like, they drew it, like, you know, it's like, okay, I'll only be there for a little bit, like, fuck it, whatever. But the gas block is the size of a soda can. The dust cover is, like, oh, ow, I can't really lift my arm. The dust cover is, like, this fucking tall. And the entire thing is made out of, is made out of the fucking, uh, same blued steel as the receiver. Including the fucking ha- including the fucking stock and and the um the front bit, like so that's real fucking weird. Uh, like I imagine it's probably that's probably a coloring error, but there's also like a lot of like model defects there. Um, there was an M4. I guess I assume it was an M4. AR-15 pattern rifles all look the fucking same to me. There's an there's an M4 in there that did not have like um any texturing on its on the cylinder that goes on the front that I forgot the name of. Um, I mean, I understand, like, that's not absolutely required, but most of them have it. Uh, and it really just makes it look like it, they just forgot to color it. <laughs> um, and that happened a lot in this episode, where you just have, like, little things where it's just, like... Like, it's a really blatant, like, coloring or drawing mistake, and I'm just like, I'm sorry, and it just kind of takes me out of it. Like, eh... I don't know. Like it is. I have to. I have to point it out because it, it it's kind of excessive in this one. Um, I'm not. But I imagine it's it's probably just because it's like they were in really limited shots. So and they were like, ah, fuck it. It'll be seen for like five seconds. This is coming out on VHS. No one's gonna notice. And the only reason that I'm noticing it is because I'm looking at it in fucking 720p on a 1080p monitor. <laughs> um. So, you know, I'm I'm looking at it at a much higher definition, at a much higher uh, video quality than intended, because I imagine probably intended for CRTs. So, you know, no harm, no foul, but I I have to point it out. Um, but other than other than some weird visual issues that kind of detract from the um, you know visuals of the of the of the show. Um, Good episode, honestly. It was it was short. It was sweet. I mean, short is in the episode. Oh, the episode would be short. Like no, like it was. Like this episode is more just like, hey, 
you've met our characters, you've met their boss, you've met like a couple of their villains. Here's the place where they live. Here's Rowanapur. Like, and Rowanapur really comes across as a character of its own. Like, it, we, 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 it basically, Rowanapur was given a same level of characterization and, and like, looking around as, like, our main characters are. And I feel like that is pretty good. And if they're going to spend the majority of their time in Rowanapur, then we need to know Rowanapur. So, Doing that, spending time setting the place up and doing it in a way that makes you still go, Oh, yeah, that's cool. I like that guy. Hey, that's cool. Ow. Like, it's fun. It's a fun use of time and a really, really nice way to spend an episode, especially since, like, I imagine since this came out in the 2000s, this probably isn't going to stop off at 13 episodes. And even if it does... Like, I don't really feel an overarching plot here, so that's fine. The overarching plot has not kicked in, so it doesn't feel like we're wasting time. And then it ends off with a nice little side job that doesn't really amount to anything in the grander scheme of things, but show instead of it, 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 we, ow, it showed us Ro, it showed us Rowana Poor at the start, and then the job at the end is showing our characters interacting with Rowana, Rowana Poor. And that's and that's good. That that is linking our protagonists with the place we just spent ten minutes looking looking at through. It, it it's really good storytelling, honestly. Um, the combat with the boats was really fun. Um, despite you know the 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 the, the coloring and drawing errors, um, like the choreography of it was really cool. Like all the boats going in and showing us that like this isn't like some big dick pirate operation they're a bunch of dumb idiots who if given the ch chance will shoot each other accidentally because they're fucking moron pirates like that's cool that's fun i like that a lot big thumbs up um and just seeing revy just pff, seeing revy just go fucking bananas on them men that was really cool as well like it like you know it's once again I'm reminded of the Omni Man green text, but but still, still I it, 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 mm, that woman's got some bad juju in her head, Mark, and I don't know if Rock is f strong enough to fuck it out. Uh, but hey, at the very least, it's her with a break action grenade launcher. And a mis and a mysterious machine pistol of unknown make, just gunning down pirates like and just <laughs> oh god okay and uh, and I guess also like I guess one com it was cool so it's not really a big complaint but God I gotta bring it up like the 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 the, the fucking. Distance she was using that grenade launcher at some point. Holy shit, I'm fairly certain those grenades would not have had time to prime. They would still fucking hurt, mind you. But I don't think they'd actually blow up. <laughs> like, essentially she'd be like shooting them with a soda can from a pneumatic cannon. It would probably still kill though if she hit them in the head. But it probably would not blow up. But still it was cool, so I'm gonna let it slide, but I have to bring up, like, the, the, the Tom fuckery there. Um, yeah, I like this show. I like this show a lot. It's a lot of fun. And I, I like that they're, you know, actually trying to actually just model the guns and, and firearms and... I don't know, like, a lot of... I feel like a lot of shows... Like, it's getting better, mind you, but a lot of shows from, like, when... I was, like, I don't know, in my teenage years, so that was, like, you know, uh, like, 2000 and, uh, 2000, like, I don't know, I'm gonna say, like, 2008 to, like, like, 2015, like, most, most shows would shy away from firearms, or they would just be generic like, ah, oh, we made up a thing that looks vaguely like a gun and shoots laser beams. And that was, like, anime and western. So it was, like, it really t takes you out of it. Because you're like, oh. 
Uh, I don't know. Like, maybe it's just because I'm just... I've got the big tism. So my brain goes, that's not a fire. Uh, mm. But who knows? Who knows? Um, but, yeah. Good show. Good art direction. Good choreography. Minor issues. But, once again, I'm fairly certain those issues just stem from the fact that they didn't really need that level of detail for, like, small scenes like that. Because... CRTs in 2001. Um, but, like, at least on the wider shots, for the most part, it's fine. It's just, you know, you got a coloring issue and a texture issue here and there. But, whatever. I'm gonna stop talking now. So, thank you all for watching, everybody. As always, I am Nozvix. Let me know what you thought of this episode down there in the comments, whether you liked it, you disliked it, or you want to bring up something I left out. And what do you think of this, like... Like, because the light's behind me right now. You can't see it on the camera, but the light's behind me right now. Because I figured, like, it coming down from, like, up here, it was casting weird shadows, and my face kind of reflected light because I'm the pastiest motherfucker under the sun. Um, I don't know. Like, that's good when I'm using the VTuber shit, but not so much when you're actually looking at my face. So, yeah, let me know what you think of the, of the lighting, if you think it's good or not. I don't know. Um, and... Yeah. I don't know. Let me know what you think of the episode. I'm gonna go lay down. <laughs> As always, everybody, uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, share social media, tell your friends, hit the share button down below, and if you want, you can support me on Patreon, which is linked in the description and on the end card, along with a list of all the people who keep the shop and running. Thank you guys, a whole bunch of you guys are the absolute best. I love you! And if you want more content from me, then I do post anime every single day at around noon, and if you also want some more stuff, uh, I do try and live stream. Um, this coming week is going to be a little bit more laid back stream wise because I've been having a bit. I've been having a time, so uh, it's going to be more like laid back, like streams like World of Warcraft, Apex, like stuff that like is multiplayer and I can just hang out with the chat. So keep an eye out for that. Um, I think there's a stream today. Uh, I'm gonna like it's not gonna be at like the regular time because I have like some D and D stuff I gotta run for the patrons, but. Keep an eye out. It might even be going by now. Who knows? But yeah, um, check my channel. It'll probably be there. If not, keep an eye out. But uh, yeah, as always, everybody, I'll see you in the next video. Most importantly of all, become a trash mammal today, and I'll see you a real